Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultra Kill. Uh, it's been a little bit since I posted a video, because I have been doing other stuff. We're doing uh, So, I have to re-record this entire video because it's too quiet. I'm really upset about it, because I think I did really well in the video, so... On my end, I gotta turn this down, but on your end, it should be fine. Some parts of the original video would still be kept in, like the intro and stuff, but. Oh, that's so annoying. So, you'll see me playing like I've already played, since I have. about it, but I'm still pretty... Ow. So, yeah. Up we go! Grab this! So 
He's like actually a conjurer. That's them done. God damn it. I miss. They want to go in here right now. Of your blood stained hands, I await you down below. Come to me. Okay. Anyway, um. What I was going to try and do is. I'm not doing it right, I'm not doing it right, right. We gotta be Wait, I can just carry that while I'm still in. Okay, this should be loud enough. Probably even louder than my voice, which I'm happier about. Yeah, I beat the second encounter. Um, got my stamina and stuff. There we go. All gone. With blood be soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger, purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain unsatiated. As to you, you've taken everything from me, machine, and now all that remains is perfect hatred. Epic organ solo. Do you know if you like shoot things like this, they bounce? Like rockets will actually bounce. I think the cannibal does too. It does. Turns out coins do as well if you shoot them right. Sing period? Nah, we got the sh we got the up period. There'll be a skip here, unfortunately. Machine, I will cut you down. Break you apart. Slay the gore of your profane form across the stars. I will grind you down until the very sparks cry for mercy. My hands shall relish ending you here and now. Yeah, he stops the fight in rage, apparently.
taste of victory. But this taste is... Is this my blood? <laughs> I've never known such... Such relief. I... I need some time to think. We will meet again, machine. May your woes be banished. May your days be Damn. I died. Damn it. God damn it. Silence. Introspection. How many had he killed? Had he ever thought to count? How much cruelty did he embody? And to what end? How many ha did he condemn to hell? And who did it benefit? Two defeats at the hands of the machine had changed Gabriel. The world of the once supposed will of God was now shattered and only he was left to put the pieces back together. They collected before the light of the dying fire that fresh fuel couldn't sustain. This new light showing the truth to Gabriel. The pieces never fit together to begin with. The supposed council of the people who boasted a god that wasn't there. Gone. Vanished. The council still chased after the light of God's fire, their memory of its words and will grown twisted and warped, and the rest of the aimless masses of heaven follow their footsteps. The angels still act in the Father's name, but his kingdom has changed. Now the fire was dying, sputtering out as the heat failed to gain purchase. Gabriel looked upon the embers with a perfect clarity. He drew his blade and held it, in contrast, the dying light. In its reflection, he saw a weapon reborn, no longer wielded by the will of another, but his own. He knew words alone could not, would not sway the words, the masses. God fucking damn. He chooses to do something drastic. Death stains the auditorium. The littered corpses of the once mighty council now strewn against its surfaces, their last gasps of life dripping down the dissident blade of Gabriel's sword. The last council now backed up to a wall, scrambles for words between panicked breaths as death approaches with measured steps. Wait, you cannot do this. Our status forbids it. This is treason, heresy, murder. We are the supreme authority. Our law commands you. You command nothing. Your words hold no power over me or anyone else. Lest you truly believe you can talk my blade back into its sheath. But the people are on our side. The citizens of heaven know what, that we are just. The masses only follow you out of fear and desperation. I will show them there is nothing to be afraid of, for there is no species, no origin, vested rank or holy status that will stop the sharp edge of a sword. We all bleed the same blood, and the, the cushions of your thrones have made you weak and impotent. Please, Gabriel, you see reason. The council follows the will of the Father. You seek to go against our creation. Face it, brother. God is dead. The fire is gone. You're chasing phantoms. Gabriel's silhouette now towers over the, the counselor, his shadow cast upon a soon lifeless corpse. He raises his sword for the final cut, as the crying mess on the floor stammers out its final feeble argument. But, but the father's light. Without me, you cannot hope to reconnect with it. If you kill me, you'll be dead in a matter of hours. I know. A clean, silent cut glides to the counselor's neck, severing his spine with elegance and ease. His head falls into the marble floor, the rest of his body following soon after. The, f 
better fit of status but brimming with purpose, Gabriel, ga Gabriel gave a final message to the angels amassed at the gates of the auditorium before leaving heaven for the very last time. His arm outstretched, without a word the people saw. In the silence, the, masses rang, the message rang out to the far end of the cosmos.